have now is the unaired episodes. So you get to see how the entire show, all six seasons of it finally get to end. So without any further ado, thank you so much for coming. These are the unaired episodes. I mean, we, most of us were high school students when we started this, and it was like, we really, I mean, I got, I got so meta when George was like, we're oh your family, God. and I was just like, this is like, I mean, we all grew up together. I, I, I just loved being a part, every single scene that I was a part of was my favorite because I was hungry. And it was just such a joy to be there and I couldn't believe that Otesso was allowing me to like, you know, fulfill my dream throughout this, this series. And so every single moment that I was on set, like I was living my dream and I loved it. So. You were talking about they were getting like auditioning for the role of Gwen. Storm was also up for the role of Gwen. Um, <laughs> Uh, you, you were pretty funny about it earlier, but... <laughs> you want to tell me about it? I was like, I'm a real husband. Why didn't I get that part? <laughs> As it turned out, I thought my character was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, she turned out to be not really straight either. And yeah, no, my character eventually, you know, yeah. went to the good side. But... <laughs> you know, as somebody who identifies as not completely straight, um, you know, it was... And I was going through a lot of the same things that Sarah was going through. Um, and so, you know, I just wanted to do her story justice. And I think that the fact that it, had had, that it has had such a positive reception is not anything that I, or any of us, I think, really anticipated going into this. I mean, like, when we went to the diners last year, like, that was just, it was an amazing experience. And we had no idea, like, the amazing culture that surrounded like lesbian web series. And... In 2007, this was weird. I mean, when I and I was in film school at the time, and, I, and my professors were basically horrified. They were like, "Wait, you want to create something for free, and you're going to give it away on the internet so that strangers can watch it on their cell phones?" They were horrified. Um, but fortunately, we were right. This is really the way that the industry was moving. And I think in particular, not just new media, though, for me, I, I wanted it to be an, a web series about the pre-internet era. Um, and I like that analog digital blend. So for me, that was something that I was really passionate about. And you'll notice that when the, when the series ends, this is around the cusp of 97, 98, so this is when those AOL free trial discs are popping up in everyone's mailboxes. Like, that's when it ends. It ends with the advent of the web. And I like that kind of weird, cross-cut of themes. Um, but yeah, for me, it was always about that um, in terms of just wanting to really reach people and I thought that this was the way to do that. The man, he's 